agree, a call for bipartisanship, Trump's appeal clashes with political rancor that he helped fuel, Wednesday news story. I strongly disagree with President Donald Trump's comments on socialism in his State of the Union speech Tuesday night. In Texas, we need socialism in health care and housing for more than 40% of Texas families and half of Dallas households that are unable to afford basic needs. To the other 60%, give them capitalism, our economy and society will be and remain strong with both socialism and capitalism. Joel Batelsky, East Dallas Pelosi shuffles papers, the spectacle of House Speaker Nancy Pelosi shuffling papers during the State of the Union speech is a fairly accurate picture of the decline in culture and manners in the Democratic Party. Shame, Philip and Sandra K. Layton, Bedford. Trump snubs Pelosi Did anyone else notice that President Donald Trump jumped the gun and began his speech before being introduced by the Speaker of the House? The introduction of the President is a time-honored tradition, and an important privilege for the Speaker, who is the presiding officer of the House chamber. Having learned much about Trump over the years, I would not be surprised if he began his address prematurely on purpose, as a selfish and petty gesture for the purpose of denying House Speaker Nancy Pelosi that special moment to which she is entitled. Alan Kezdoy, Far North Dallas What about Trump's targets? How benevolent of First Lady Melania Trump to defend a sixth grader by the name of Joshua Trump who has been bullied because of his name and invite him as a guest to the State of the Union. I guess anything for a fellow Trumper. Now if only she would invite to the State of the Union the many adult women and men who her husband has viciously bullied. Kenneth L. Zimmerman, Huntington Beach, Caliph. Terrorists in Afghanistan re Senate wisely rebukes Trump peace talks with Taliban undermine U.S. mission to stabilize Afghanistan, Monday editorials. The U.S. Senate is right that if we leave Afghanistan, terrorists will regroup there. Word I have from the Afghan community is that ISIS has already taken possession of large parts of Kuna province and is creating income by harvesting wide swaths of its forested regions. If we stay in Afghanistan, we should pay attention to some obvious facts. One fact that a long-serving Afghan war veteran reminded me of is that the Taliban can pay locals $10 a day to shoot American and Afghan troops or planned IEDs, something they are easily tempted to do when their families are going hungry. Afghans have little sympathy for a government that allows them to starve or freeze to death. John Stetler, Dallas, Lockwood police officers in the Rangra, bad grade for UTD, cop degree scandal is a shame on the institution, Tuesday editorials. This editorial excoriating UTD for its master's degree program have used by both the university and some of the police officers taking advantage of academic credit awarded with zero attendance or performance requirements rightfully chastises the university, but bewilderingly lets the officers off the hook with it doesn't appear, though, that this was the fault of the police officers who took these courses. Try telling an officer that you didn't understand traffic rules the next time you're stopped and see how ignorance works as an excuse. Some officers parlayed this farce of an education into promotions and higher pay, all at taxpayer expense. UTD should be fined, and pay raises for any officer found to have taken advantage of this should be rescinded. I'll stop short of asking that the officers reimburse taxpayers for the increases they've received so far, but allowing this to continue is flat wrong, and is demeaning to officers who earned their degrees fairly. Will Davis, Flower Mound Woe decides, credibly accused, re, names and shame, Dallas Diocese lists 31 clerics, credibly accused of sexual abuse. They're among nearly 300 on statewide list that dates back several decades, Friday news story. I read the list of 31 Catholic clerics, credibly accused of sexual abuse and immediately wondered several things. Who determined which accusations were credible? Was it the church hierarchy who had been hiding and protecting these predators in the past? If so, why should we believe they aren't still hiding others? Why weren't the people in the church hierarchy who protected these men included on the list, too? They are just as responsible for the sexual abuse they enabled as the men who carried it out. 
If Catholic diocese should be forced to turn over all sexual abuse allegations to our legal system so an unbiased investigation can occur for each and every case. Jahail, Dallas Why Slam the Band? I'm just asking, for those supporting Colin Kaepernick, why slam only a band for being part of the, the Super Bowl? Why not slam all the fans who buy a ticket to any NFL game? Why not slam all the coaches coaching NFL teams? Why not slam all performers at all NFL games? Why not slam all celebrities attending or performing or sponsoring events and or booths at all NFL games? Why not slam NFL announcers? Why not slam all the NFL players? Why not slam all other sports figures promoting their new television show in commercials for any NFL games? Why not call for a boycott of any and all NFL activities? If you're supporting an issue, why pick and choose those you criticize for not supporting the same issue? I'm just asking. Lynette Williams, Richardson, 